taking my place. She used my name and my number to keep me from going to hell. There's nothing else that we can do for her now. Except save yourself. That's what she would want. But why do I get a second chance to live? Listen to me. Don't think about that right now, okay? Won't you think about freedom? And you can have it. If you leave with me right this second. You shouldn't have done that. I didn't feel you resisting. I was shocked. I can imagine, especially when you leaned into me. I didn't lean in. You leaned. And then I leaned into you. Look, does it matter who kissed who? No! What matters is that it happened. Oh my God, here comes Count Viscardi. Cassie, 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 what? Cassie. Just take a break. Take a break. Someone tried to stop you at the airport. You're here in your street clothes. It's a recipe for disaster. That's a chance I'm going to have to take, Edmund. I am trying to get San Cristobal to take my side against their prince. It's now or never. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not Princess Cassie. I think we may have a situation. Princess Cassie, I have a message from Prince Alonzo. And you may take a message back to him. He is on his way here to see you. Look, Lizzie, uh, <laughs> that's very thoughtful of you, but um, I know that we, we both want, or rather that we've, it's great that we've figured out that what we want to be is friends, but as far as everything else is concerned, I think that maybe we should start to take things a little slower. Okay, fine. Have it your way. I'll call you when I get back in six months. Hello, Buzz. I'm busy, Alan. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Uh, tune in the ball game or what? As a matter of fact, I am. I'll do anything I can to keep my mind off of what the hell Harley's going through. You know, it's been a difficult night for everyone. But you know, tomorrow is a new day and I plan to make it different. Maybe you should set an example for your family and pick yourself up and move on, huh? You know, I hate it when they don't televise games. I think I need a new radio. Have you heard a word that I've said? Yeah, you want things to be different, Alan. So do I. I want my daughter to be home where she's safe. Yeah, well, I want my son back, too, Buzz. Look, it's been a very difficult year for both of our families, but I, I think it's time that we move on. What's that? I want you to bring your family and Zach to my house tonight. For what? We're going to celebrate Philip's birthday. Are you all right? When I saw that crash, are you hurt? You should Why not you be here. I knocked you out for your own good. I didn't want you involved it's in all of this. It's too late for that, Cooper. I am involved. Not anymore, you're not. About the kiss. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but I think I, I can do better with a little practice. <laughs> no practice. No more kissing. That's never going to happen again. Okay. 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 Swine by me. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I understand. You're a happily married woman. And that's it. Right. Women come and go. 
but a really good bartender is hard to find, so I wouldn't want to lose you. No, you wouldn't want to lose me. Whew. Thanks for making that so quick and painless. Why get stressed about something of no importance? Where is Alonzo now? I was instructed to only speak to the princess. Well, the princess is my wife, and Alonzo is my brother. So... Hey, it's okay. I, I, I can talk with him. Right. Um, I'll be waiting with Donna. Thank you. Pompous lackey. He's very handsome, who is he? He's Alonzo's messenger. He's been sent to announce Alonzo's arrival. And that's a good thing, right? Just dandy, however. Now, wait a minute. What happens if Cassie finds out that you've been telling Alonzo for weeks that he can have Will? Well, that's open to interpretation, then. Yeah, Cassie's. It won't happen. I guarantee it. So says the prince, hmm? What, you doubt me? I do not doubt the power of a man who can make me a princess for the day. And should you find a glass slipper lying Dino? on the ground who does... Come on! It's not even midnight, all right? Doesn't Cinderella deserve a final waltz on the dance floor? Oh, gosh. Alonso has invited us to stay at the palace with him. He wants to talk to us about Will. He's sorry about what happened at Custom. This is wonderful. <laughs> what? Look, we're going to be able to convince him that Will belongs with us. Oh, oh that's wonderful. That's... You see, my darling? Those are going to be safe in your arms again. I'm going to make sure of that. So, you're really leaving. I mean, things have been terrible around here lately. I need a change of scenery, and I think this would be good for me. And when I get back, I can just start all over. Now, would you please open this? It's pink. <laughs> it sounds like you've got some keys in here. Lizzie, did you buy me a new car? Yeah, you wish. There are keys in there, but it's actually the keys to this place. You're giving us company back. Elizabeth and company, and you wish again. I actually was hoping that since we've been gone for six months, you and Buzz can keep an eye on the place. And you can keep all the profits. What? Are you okay? I'm fine. Why? Lizzie, every time you leave here at night, you check all the napkin holders to make sure my family hasn't pilfered any for our personal use. And now you're telling me that we can keep all the profits. Do whatever you want. Have fun. I just... Lizzie, I, I, don't, under, I don't understand. What? Look, I, you can't just leave right now like this, all right? Look, I know that things were really rough here at first. I... I know that, trust me, but I thought you actually liked this place. You know, don't you? I mean, I, I mean, every time that you had a really bad day or things got really, really difficult outside there, you always had this, this, this right here to come back to. And I just can't believe that right now you're just going to let it all go. You know, you're going to pretend that it doesn't exist for six whole months? I realize celebrating Philip's birthday like this is a little unconventional. You think? You know, maybe it's my way of coping with his death. One's never really prepared in dealing with the loss of a child. I mean, one moment you're fine, the next moment you're lashing out. Not really a wrong or right way of dealing with it. I think you found the wrong way. Well, I'm burying the past. Will you and Zach join me? No. No. I wish I could believe you were sincere that you're celebrating Philip's birthday, but I think what you're really celebrating is getting revenge on Harley. You didn't see us. We're not here. Just get out of the way. 
I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. Listen, you said you wanted to help her. Here's your chance. It was a bus crash. There were no survivors. It's burning. They'll think that she's dead, at least for a little while, okay? All you have to do is turn around and walk away. Well, listen to me. If you go with him, you're as good as dead. There's no way he's talking about. They'll find you, Harley. He's proven he can't be trusted to make the right decisions. Listen to me. I can protect you. I can keep you safe. Oh, like you kept us safe today? I am a wanted man. I have nothing to lose. Okay, but if you go with him, you put him in the same boat that we're in. You make him a wanted man, you make him a fugitive. He's right. He's right. You'll be a fugitive, but then if they catch us, yeah, they're no. going to arrest you, no, too. That's, right. that's why we have to leave right this second. Holly, listen to me. This doesn't make any sense. He can stay here. He can work on your case free and clear. Okay? And I can protect you. You don't have to choose. You don't have to choose. You can use us both. Let's go. Edmund, I have such a great feeling. I do. I mean, for the first time in weeks, I really believe that I'm going to be able to keep my son. No, Cassie. I think we make a very good team. Let's celebrate. You want to dance? The idea crossed my mind. I'm not dressed for it, Edmund. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. The music. <laughs> It's okay, sweetie. We'll have our chance. Someday. Someday. Princess Cassie. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm... I'm not Princess Cassie. My apologies. You're even more beautiful than she is. Thank you. I'm sorry for intruding. But I just couldn't stand to see such a sad, lovable face. I'm working on the specials board. And doing a splendid job. I can't do both. Well, then I hereby give you permission to take a well-deserved break from the specials. Nobody needs to know the specials tonight anyway. Reva, Angel. You're upset because I said the kiss meant nothing. What do you want me to say? So one kiss didn't change my life. I don't want you to say anything. You're married. <clears throat> Your life can be changed by a kiss. You know what? You take care of the specialist boards and you get your own tequila. I'm taking my break. Look, there are no winners here. Only fathers missing their children and their children missing their fathers. That's why I think it's very important for us to move on and set the example. This get-together being the example. Buzz, I didn't know about Harley's transfer. I, I planned this party for Philip's children. I mean, it may be the last time they ever have to celebrate their father's birthday. Now, do you really want Zach to miss that? Please, Buzz, come to the house and bring the whole family. Huh? The family is staying here. But I'll drop Zach off. As crazy as it sounds, I think that kid is the best chance your family has. Thank you, Buzz. Cool. You've wanted me out of here since day one. Well, yeah, that's true, but like I said, things change, even the restaurant business. Oh, the restaurant business, okay. Yes, you know, distributors move on, customers forget your faces, and you never know. You might even miss out on certain opportunities. Opportunities? And you thought this place had no potential. You were even going to quit, remember? Like I said, things change. So... Just a couple minutes ago, you said that you wanted us to slow down. Has that changed, too? All I wanted to do was to make you aware that you have options, Lizzie. You don't have to, you know, run across the country, you know, leave the country, you know, just to get away from your family. 
there are other alternatives to doing that right here in Springfield. What alternatives? All I'm saying is that you don't have to leave the country to make a fresh start. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth, it's time to go home. <clears throat> I can't do that. I'm not finished here yet. <laughs> oh, yes, you are, young lady. Because we have a party to plan. You do know what tomorrow is, don't you? I do. It's that, Daddy's birthday. That is right. And at the stroke of midnight tonight, we're going to honor and celebrate his life. If you want to honor his life, then you won't push Lizzie into the same fate as her father. Here's an update on the tragic bus accident of Justice in Mansbrook. The vehicle is en route to Hellas Correctional. No survivors. The bus was to transfer Harley Cooper, convicted of killing Philip Spaulding. No. Mal is right. The police won't arrest you if, if I go with him and you stay here. You can... No. This is not about choosing Mal over you. It's not. This is about me doing the, the safest thing that I can until we find the real killer. Listen, I know that I've lost your trust, okay? I don't know. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've let you down. But I promise you, I know what I'm talking about right now. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but we can make it. We're no good without each other, okay? We can do this. Harley, we can Harley, do this. think. Be smart, okay? Be smart. Think this through. I'm sorry. Sorry, too. What are you doing, Mallet? I didn't give up my career for you to roll the dice with your life. Now, come on. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I ask you to give up your life for me. We have to go. Harley, you're going to get killed out there. The second the authorities know that you're alive and on the run, they're going to shoot to kill. Is that how you want to lose her, Cass? I'm not going to lose her. Not. Not. We don't have a lot of time, okay? So I want you to listen to me. Are you listening to me? No, what? I am so grateful to you for everything that you did. You put your life on the line for me. I will never forget that. And I forgive you. But I need to be with him. My life is with him. No, Harley, no. Listen, we're good, right? Didn't we say we're good? That we're even? So you can go. You should go. And you need to let us go too. Take a look. Can't you ever just leave her alone? Mr. Bradshaw, this is a family conversation. Coop, it's okay. You can go. It's just so weird. I mean, we're having a birthday for Daddy, and he's not even going to be there. Well, that's not necessarily so. You, you know, you, your mother and I both feel that when you're with your brothers, I mean, we, f we feel a lot of your father there. Now, isn't that reason enough to celebrate? I'm not coming to the party. Why not? Because I need to start a life of my own. I can't just live in the past like the rest of you. You gotta let me go, Granddad. Don't you find everybody so phony here, always trying to be somebody they're not? Yeah, that's why it's so nice to meet someone I like just the way she is. Oh, I like you. Mm. Enough to wait for me. I need to do a few things back. I will be right here. I think I might have found
found myself a prince. Hmm. Why can't it always be this simple, Edmund? It can be. Give us another chance, Cassie. We need to concentrate on Will right okay. now, and, and I need to figure out what I'm going to say to Alonzo. I know. I know. But... No, I need to... Um, I need to go back to the hotel and, and change. Oh, Dinah. I'm sorry. I almost forgot that... Um, what, that I'm here? No, I'm fine. You have your prince now, and now I have mine. You met someone? Yes, yes. Just the most handsome, charming prince at the ball. Wow. Oh, there he is. I just have to finish cleaning up. Don't you go anywhere. So, maybe now I can. Take this, you might need it. Uh, there's a cell phone in the pocket. No, no one will know to trace it. No, no, you're gonna need this. You have to no, go, no, I'm too. Fine. I'm fine. Gus, take good care of it. I will. Let's go. I'm sorry. Let's go, just go. Thank you. Hey, guys. I'll try to stall them as long as I can. Go, 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 go. Movement up ahead. Look to the right. The right. It's no use. You're late. Everybody's dead. Everybody. You're just full of surprises, Mom. Just like my sweet baby boy. How about mixing yeah. up something for your sweet baby I boy? I don't think so. I really want to be alone. You want to be alone? Mm. What's wrong? Nothing that I really want to share with you. What, have you got a new boyfriend? I'm not in the mood for your sarcasm or your rotten comments tonight either. I'm offering to listen. Listen? You listen when it suits you. And sometimes you listen and then you turn around and use it against me. Hey. I've been a good boy lately. Yeah, yeah, I have to admit, you've been a good boy. And I really think that it's great that you and Josh are getting along so well and that you're working at Lewis. But I just can't talk to you now, okay? Fine by me, lady. I got enough problems of my own. I don't need to be worrying about you. Oh, since when have you ever worried about me? Excuse me? I changed my whole damn life to fit in your perfect little box. I'm up at six. I work for Josh. I'm nice to people who hate me. I never asked you to do that. You're nuts! I don't care. I don't care what's wrong with you. I just swiped the most incredible Bordeaux. I'm gonna finish up and meet you out by the service entrance, okay? Mm. He's cute. Mm -hmm. He seems very nice. Don't you patronize me. Because you have a prince and I have stagged myself a waiter. Okay, I have done everything you want me to do. I drink my milk. I take naps. I have flown across the country to just wear a dead cat on my head. You snap your fingers. You know, you ask me to become Princess Cassie, and I do it. Does anyone ask me whether or not I'm happy? Di 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 you need to calm down, okay? No, I don't need to calm down. Think about the baby. I always think about the baby. I always think about the baby. Everyone's asking me to think about the baby. You and Em and everybody. I always wonder what it's going through. Does Edmund even care? Edmund? Cassandra Winslow? Yes. You're under arrest. What? What are you talking about? Let's go. 
I don't want to be like Dad. You've you've never been happy, okay? And and, and a lot of people have. And I want to be like them. I want to be normal. You're not normal, Elizabeth. You're a Spalding. Now forget about all of this normal stuff. Respect your father, and come home with me. I still have stuff I have to do. All right then, I will wait. You're not really thinking about going with him, are you? Sure. Unless you give me a reason not to. Keep your hands in the air, slowly. You did this all again. What in Malibu the everybody. last time? Are you listening to me? There are no survivors. Hold your you hands in the air. Let it's on your hair. You killed her! Oh, hey, Buzz. Don't move. Buzz, let me talk Don't to move. you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Buzz, I did everything I could. I'm sorry. I... Safe? Best place to hide is right under their noses. Here. Can you have a seat right here on the couch, okay? Right there on the sofa. It's a sofa, huh? Yes, that's right. It's a sofa that I'm giving you the good seat so you can look at the big screen TV. Ah. In fact, I'm going to have to ask you to move over eventually because it's the year of the cubbies and I'm going to be watching every game. And maybe, if it's okay with you, you can be in the kitchen fixing up a little... I don't think so. A little dinner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See the wall right mm -hmm. there? Or mark off the heights of the kids. See that? That high? Uh -huh. These kids are getting big. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just figured that, uh, well, they're big enough now, they can help me with the addition that I'm building upstairs. The addition that we're building for our addition. What do you want, a boy or a, or a girl? This is the way it was supposed to be. This is the life we were supposed to have. If you can see it, it'll happen. Can you see it? I'm trying. I'm going to find my brother's killer, okay? And we're going to live happily ever after. Promise me. I promise. It was a very long break. I needed it. What? Nothing. Dino? Thank God you're here. Listen, you gotta know something. Uh, Dino, I don't really have time for this. I need to speak to Cassie. She left the hotel yet? I, I don't know. Uh, she, you just missed her. Oh, thank you. Okay, fine. Then I'm leaving. Why? Why not? Well, Lizzie, this, all of this, this is just so weird, okay? Suddenly you wanted to take off and go with him to your dead dad's birthday thing? I mean, come on. They need me, Coop. I've lost my dad already, and I cannot lose my granddad. But if you give me a really good reason to stay, then I will. Look, go. You know, maybe you should go with them. I mean, you belong to the family. You are a Spalding. Maybe it's, maybe it's better this way. Lizzie, wait. What? I'll see you around. Everyone on the bus headed for Hellas Correctional is dead. Buzz, listen to me. Let me talk to him. It's Harley Cooper's father. Let me talk to him. Buzz, where is she? Buzz, listen. 
Where is she? Get out of here! Get out of here! Malak! I'm trying to keep her! I need to see her! In prison, there's always noise. It never stops. I used to escape from it by remembering moments like this. Remembering you. I wasn't so um, sure that I'd get to hold you again, you know? I could check it out, though. I thought I'd lost you, and I can't. I tell, I'll tell you right now, I can't go through that again. I have to go. Okay? I'll be fine. See, I think that Olivia did it, and I think that I can prove it. And I have to move fast before anybody figures out that you're alive. So I, I'm going to get over to the Spalding house, and uh, my gut is telling me that there's something there that I missed. 